Hello once again, this is Jerry, and welcome back to our DB2 Express SQL session. On today's lesson, we're going to implement group by modifier on columns and work on aggregate functions. Most of our scripts that we have done so far are in details. Actual databases consist of big tables with thousands or even millions of rows but there are requirements which do not need details but a summary of that content we may use group by modifier in parallel with aggregate functions to compute groupings in a column and this would be the syntax of a group by before we could work on group by examples let us first connect with our sample database Using the employees table, list the job positions held within the company. The employees table consists of 42 employees. These employees hold various positions in the company. The select statement groups job positions and list in alphabetical order so if we want to list all departments of those employees we have Aggregate functions are used to summarize details either by counting, summing up, arranging, getting its minimum or its maximum value. The following functions may be associated with the group by modifier. Now, if we become curious about the company we have in our database, we may inquire how many employees occupy a particular position. Here we associate group by modifier with count aggregate function This time, we have listed two columns, job and count job. The group by modifier repeats the summary of job positions and the second column serves as the count of those positions. The two in the column header represents the column titles as it is said to be the second column. We may improve our listing by assigning an alias name. Count function is best served in tallying row occurrences of non-numerical value. This is the only aggregate functions that can be used in text data type columns. Although employees may hold the same position within the company, still their salary differs.
see the difference. Our next line of inquiry is to ask what would be the average salary of each position in the company. Executing the script. What would be the sum of the annual salary for each position if the budget allocation is required? We may have And if we want to check what is the minimum salary paid for each position, we have this script. Getting the maximum salary for the position is almost the same as we do for the minimum salary. Mean and max functions are not limited to numerical values. It may also be applied to date data types. We inquire what is the earliest hiring date occurred within the company. To get the last hiring date, we have Notice that we do not use group by from the two previous examples. Our, our focus is on the entire company. That is why it is unnecessary to group. You may use this also on other aggregate functions depending on the requirement set. Now let us get the total annual salary of the company. Thanks for watching. If you like to see the script of the video presented, please click the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Buy the book for more challenging exercises with solutions. Visit our Facebook and Twitter account. Bye!